Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play. <clears throat> oh, I started to say Yakuza. That that it has been weeks. Uh, welcome back to Let's Play um, Final Fantasy IX on the Series JG. I'm apparently playing way too many games. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're uh, we're doing our thing here, uh, exploring Treno, trying to get all the ATEs. That would be um, active time events. That's what it stands for. It took me a second there. Uh, I mean, other than... I guess there's a Stelazario coin somewhere around here. I'm looking at the list. There's a key item. Oh, no, there's two Stelazario coins here. Otherwise, like, there's a card, there's some gold. Doesn't look like there's anything real important to find, but I am just trying to find all the story content. So we cannot leave until we find the princess, but I think we're free to just chat. Well, no, hold on. Let's, uh... Let's see one more, uh... ATE. By just wandering around. Apparently this city is crazy about the card game, too, because, uh... There's lots of people that we... Everybody, apparently, plays the card game. Yeah, I mean, I wish the card game in this game made more... Like, I might enjoy it if it made more sense, but this is kind of terrible. I guess the guards don't count as people, but normal citizens... who are not on duty all want to play cards with you. Here we go. Unexpected visitor. Oh, this must be an auction house. Maybe I can find the super soft here. Hmm? Oh. That was Kuja, I think. Anyway, alright. So, back on the first screen. Feel free to view the remaining ATs if you haven't already done so. Then throw Gil in the fountain 13 times for the Gemini Stelazario. Okay. That's the kind of thing that I would not have just randomly done without the fact or a uh, Brady Games guide or whatever to guide me. There's a 10 Gil coin in the water. Throw in 10 Gil. Well, why not just get, the, get it out? I feel happier. I feel happier. Make this go a little faster. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteenth time. Another coin appeared when you threw in your coin. Receive Gemini. Okay, I can continue dropping coins in, but I won't do anything. Duh, what are you doing here tonight? Is he's making fun of us, but just sarcasm, maybe, but... Dots. Dots. How do you like the scenery? Isn't it beautiful? It looks splendid, darling, but isn't it dangerous around here? I'll protect you. Where did he go? Alright. Uh, you can keep throwing money if you like. Eventually, the thug will improve his card deck. As with most Tetra Master related activities, there's little reward, but it's there if you're interested. Uh, go to the east to find yourself in the slum. Okay. There's an inn here. 100 gil. You shouldn't need it. Since we have a free alternative, what the heck are you talking about? Oh. Uh, he's, yeah, okay. Let's talk about some other place. As well as an item shop outside, alright? 
Yeah, Trano in particular, I just want to... I know it sounds silly and like, JG, the, just... Don't, be, don't you grow a pair. It's okay, it's a video game. You can chill. But I'm like, no, I really want to follow this guide closely because I feel like it's just super easy to miss little bits of story and whatnot. I received the attack card. And one gill. Sorry I took all your stuff. We got a wide selection. Take your time and see. Yeah, I don't care. There's gotta be an easier way to make a quick buck question mark. Alright. Near the item shop or grab the Eddie car and one gill figures we're in a slum. As well as the Taurus Stelazario behind the item shop in a crate. Okay. Our houses need repair constantly, not like the nobles' houses. I son something and something. I'm a Taurus. I don't remember the Aqua Teen Hunger Force lyrics. Um. All right, so head to the next screen. I suppose that doesn't mean going in here. That may advance the story. Take a good look around, Mario. So Thomas of Mario, take it easy. We're gonna become snowballs, right, sis? Yeah, Mario, take it easy. I'll find a Moogle, Margaret, being chased by a dog. He is. No letters except one sent by Stiltskin, but feel free to save here. What about this guy, Burp? Novel's a level of life a luxury by the sea. Well, I'm drunk loaded on the streets. Life stinks. Koopo. I guess suddenly he's okay. We're really good friends. Can I help you, Koopo? There's a letter from Stiltskin. Let's read it together, Koopo. From Stiltskin to Margrish. There's trouble in this rainy city. The guys I saw there were headed towards Voob Desert, west of Brumacea. They'll only find sandstorms. What could they possibly want? I'm gonna follow them and see. Boop does it is so far away, still it's gonna be amazing, Koopo! Well, this does give me a chance to save in case I somehow mess up anything. I mean, at this point, we seem to be doing a 100% perfect Treno run. <laughs> Maybe Steiner would be more polite about listening to the old man. I used to gamble up a storm at the car stadium when I was young. But I'm not that interested in talking to you. You're not a pretty princess. Uh, Alright, check the building's entrance. Uh, okay. The weapon shop is here in the building nearby, but ignore it and head further west to reach the auction house. Check the building's exterior. Oh, so I guess this is the weapon shop. Well, I was told to ignore it, but I'm going to refuse this. Oh, this isn't the weapon shop. Never mind. We're going to head further west. I, yeah, I don't think that's the weapon shop. I think that's something else. Here's the auction shop. Why did you have to pay 5,000 gil to buy a piece of junk like that? It's not junk. Shut the fuck up, bitch. This is the King Family Action Site. Oh, like uh, the Reverend uh, King? Break that, that good stuff, bad you. Yeah, I imagine if you come here uh, before you've seen all these uh, different ATEs, then none of them will trigger. How can I find the Super Soft when I keep having to listen to your complaints? What? He didn't say any. He just said, I'm glad I found you. What the fuck? Get off his back. <laughs> I mean, let go of his nuts. You're squeezing them too hard. Such harsh words. 
I don't think it's here anyway. Where's Marcus Alexander Bagwell? I do not know. Man, she really she really looks depressed and despondent by, you know, the back of his head. Maybe Marcus found it already. Are you coming? I'm going with or without you. I, I shall follow you, princess. I've seen him before. Yeah, it's Steiner. <laughs> no, she's talking about Kuja, of course. But yeah, what a bitch, huh? <laughs> she's a real dick to uh, Steiner. Okay, uh, check the building's entrance for gold. I guess there was gold that we missed. It's the King's Family Auction site. <whistles> yes, it's 2,225 gold just lying around. Okay, now it's saying I shouldn't have rescued her yet. It says, "Return to the pre yeah, it said, don't go inside. Return to the previous screen and follow the path south. Go to the card stadium or ignore it. I'm going to wait for it to, to show me something that I can't do, having rescued her. But yeah, it doesn't have. It doesn't want me to have rescued her yet. Hey, check it out. The cats make it out. Uh, okay." You now find yourself outside the synthesis shop. All right, never mind. Yeah, it it just like two more screens of grabbing items, and then it says, "Now go back and get dagger." So I I don't think I broke anything by getting dagger. Dad, don't. Mom doesn't like it when you gamble. I'm gonna win today and get you a new car. This game stadium is a gathering place for nobles. What do you need to know about the card game rules? What do you need to play the card game? Cancel. That's what I say. You need five cards to play the card game. Approach someone and press square. Some people may refuse, though. Card stadium is a special place. You can play against many different players once you enter the stadium. Step inside and the tournament begins. All right, let's play. Uh, let's play a game. Oh, never mind. You just automatically play people. You don't actually have a. We don't actually get to explore a uh, like a cool ass zone in here. I have 13 of them. Can I, like, choose... Yeah, ones with different power levels or something? Let's just get out of here. I, I thought maybe we would get to see different... Like, a physical location we would be exploring, but... Cards for sale. Buy some before you enter the stadium. It's 100 gil per card. Screw that. Although, I've certainly got enough to afford them, but... All right. An ether on the bank, so take it, assuming you've been collecting Salzario coins. You can trade them inside the building. More on that here. What do you want? I have nothing to say to the likes of you. Oh, what a douche. I wonder if they meant the banks here. Hmm. Tenno shop sell sell items from all over. It's sell items from all over. It's an excellent place for prayer for long journey. I have to get my usual. How do you like it here? Isn't it nice? It's beautiful. I'll come back with someone else. Oh, wow. <laughs> Bishop, the master of this mansion, likes to fund scholastic research. He also runs a synthesis shop and rents out a nearby tower to a researcher. Rich people do strange things. Welcome. Alright, so we can... Sure. 
should already have enough of this stuff. Oh. We don't have a coral ring yet. Except that we do have a coral ring. But we can't make one, so... Interesting. I wonder if off-screen I got gold chokers. It seems like a thing I should have gotten. Hmm. Well, the fact isn't telling me to buy anything specific here, and, uh... I either did or did not re like realize I could get gold chokers from the synthesis shop before. But I think this is the screen where they say I could search the riverbank, yeah. And it's even ether. And now it says trade sell sorry inside the building. More on that here. So let me check on this tab. What's going on with Stalazarios? Okay, selecting Stalazarios is a key side quest to provide some great rewards. While the rewards that can be collected until early this two are... While the rewards cannot be collected until early this two are the earliest, you can begin collecting Stalazario coins very early. The table below lists where they are. Okay. The best, yeah, the ultimate reward for collecting all of them is a hammer, a unique item that can only be gotten here. Keep it in your inventory for an extra scene in the ending, or use it to synthesize Steiner's best armor. Well, we're not close to getting that anyway. But uh, we do need to take advantage of the Stelzario coins, because now I'm looking at this, yeah. This was a part of our uh, super leveling up strategy. You bought Stelzario for Queen Stella? Last name Zario? It better not be a fake. That bird lady can tell right away. She didn't fall for my cheap imitation Stelazio. And now I'm dead. Because I was murdered. Please bring the Stelazio to the queen when you find them. The queen will reward you with a gift when you do. So she plays the card game. You want to play a card game? You're a tease. I'm collecting star-shaped coins called Stelazio. Oh, you have the Scorpio. Give it to me in return for a reward. Will you give me your Scorpio? Yes. Oh, you are the most kind. Although you are a bit of a tease. Now give it to me. What, what, what? You may take the reward from my servant. A thousand gil. Okay. Oh, you have the cancer. Oh, thank you, game, for... Yes, I do have the cancer. Thank you. Give it to me in return for reward. Would you give me your cancer? I would love to, Queen Stella. I would truly love to give you my cancer. Oh, you're almost kind. Now give it to me. They actually do have, like, animated spinning coins with the different zodiac signs on them. You may take the reward from my servant. Can I carry under the Phoenix Pinion? Oh, you have the Gemini. Give it to me in return for reward. I hope I'm not locking things up by not being able to take the Phoenix Pinion. Take the reward from my servant. 2,000 gil. We received three Stelazio from you, but you're never getting that Phoenix Pinion. Ha ha ha. Oh, you have the Taurus. I will give her a Taurus because I drive a Toyota Crown. Quack, quack, quack. Take your reward. You receive Blood Sword. Oh, you have the Aries. I guess I had an extra coin. Give it to me. Take your reward. 
5,000 gil. I have no idea how many of these I had. I'm only interested in collecting Stelazio. Or playing cards, I guess. Yeah, but the Blood Sword. It's pretty powerful right now. It teaches the dark side abilities. So you can go around, like, you know, tormenting Superman, I guess. Um. Reduces your HP to cause shadow damage to the enemy. More importantly... Sword varnished with blood. It doesn't tell you this. When you hit an enemy with the blood sword, you restore to yourself the same amount of hit points that you take from the enemy. It basically has a drain effect. Uh, this, as you can imagine... You know, think about, I was talking about this, like, leveling up technique where you set the game speed up, uh, and then just rig your controller so that you're in a constant state of, like, depressing the default command and running around to do random encounters. Now, you have a character who constantly regains hit points as they attack. They basically can stay alive indefinitely. <coughs> Excuse me, by just attacking. And that is, in fact, the setup that we eventually very shortly use, because you need to get to the point in the game where you have the blood sword before you can use it. So there you have it. That's why the next time we get into combat type of stuff, we will be taking advantage of the dark powers of the blood sword. Specifically by equipping it on a character that we will not be keeping. So now I believe to continue the story, I know what we would have to do even without checking the the fact here. I think it would involve going to where we saw Dagger go hang out with the, the leader of Tantalus. But first, let's throw down a save. Let me confirm he's got nothing else. I want my Okupo, okay. Not to save over this one. Let's head in here and see what's going on. What can I do for you? Buy, sell. What's that monster down there? Nothing. What's buy, sell? We can get some new stuff that we don't have. Including, oh, Lightning Staff. Between Lightning Staff and Mithril Rod, I think we could get all the gold uh, chokers or whatever we wanted. But I'm going to assume that I carefully went through and did this correctly off screen. And that for now. Um. Uh, Let's see, a couple of optional things you can do. There it goes, living Treno, okay. <laughs> they did tell me to get gold chokers and kachutes because this is your last opportunity to buy an air racket. You need at least six total end game for a perfect list. Car. I'm uh, looking to see if, I, if they want me to go. Okay. Well, moving on, it's a good idea to make use of the weapons shop. However, you should only buy things you plan to equip in the immediate future. Anything else, like equipment for other characters, is best left for later. Snyder should stick with a blood sword. Doesn't say anything about asking about this monster, but I feel like we're supposed to be able to do that now, so let's try. The master of the Knight family who owns this building keeps that monster as a pet. He likes to see people challenge it and get beat up. I want to fight that monster. You sure I can't get into your safety? Who will fight the monster? Steiner, of course. I could dagger fight that thing. Probably don't really want to fight it anyway, unless we can have Zidane come in and steal from it, so. 
But he's got the blood sword, which should make this... If anyone in our party can do it, it would be Steiner with the blood sword. But it might be that no one in the party can currently handle this. Yeah, it's pretty important that he, um... You have the blood sword for this. I hope he still takes hit points away even when he uses dark side. Oh no, that that takes. Yeah, I probably. Oh, never mind. He won. I was gonna say I probably shouldn't have done that because that wouldn't heal him. Wow, I can't believe it. Here's your prize. Tonberry card. Oh, okay, never mind. Maybe I did beat it with Steiner, but like... Uh, it, it, like, I don't know what will have happened in her off-screening. Because the issue there is, clearly... If there's anything of value, other than a freaking Tonberry card to get by murdering that poor monster, which has been kept prisoner anyway, it would be whatever you can steal from it, so... And it's not even... I don't even see where it's discussed here. I'm sure it's discussed over the fact. But it doesn't seem to be here. Alright, so if you get the steepled hats and wrists, it's previously suggested. I can do the cotton robe trick. I probably did that off screen. But that's where you make lots of cotton robes and sell them for more than the ingredients cost you. But you're done. Now's the time to shop. To review the weapon shop. Sense shop. Uh, remember that you have Zidane's party, so be sure to buy for them. You should end up with a total of five bone wrists. Blah, blah, blah. There's a lot of stuff here about what equipment we want to have. I'm pretty sure I did this right off screen. Making sure that I use a synthesis shop to get some stuff like gold chokers and Katusha. Katusha is especially useful for your female characters. Dag and Freya. Ability up is just too good. This is your last opportunity to buy an air racket. I said, okay, so before we continue on with the story, there are a few... Other optional things I should consider doing. Firstly, to earlier, you can turn in your Stelazario coins. Second, the weapon shop has a monster to fight. Currently a griffin. Oh, never mind. More monsters will appear in the future. Oh, never mind. There's a whole section on the monsters. Uh, so the griffin... You grab that Stelzario coins or a blood sword, just equip him and a gold choker. Along with bird killer. I didn't even do all this prep that I was supposed to do. What I was wondering is if there's any information on uh, what you would get from stealing from any of these. And there doesn't seem to be. I'm wondering if this, uh... It's a total of four monsters, and you get them at different points in the story. And, uh... Tonberry card is a crappy reward, but the others give better stuff. Like running shoes or circlet. Okay, I can't really tell if there was anything to steal from the griffin, but if there was something super viable to steal, I'm... Sure, a fact as thorough as this one would mention it, so... Let's assume that we didn't just ruin everything forever. And that we can safely, uh... Guzzle down a couple more potions here. Oh, we don't even need to. I think I just guzzled potions. Throw down a save to be the end of this video save. And come back next time for a video which will probably be all plot and treno stuff. And not actually see us getting too much combat. But if it does, it will pretty much end with us being at the point where we can load the save state. Where I poured in all the time. Not even active off screening on my part. Although I guess I did off screen my way there before I recorded anything for the series. But, um... Yeah, jump ahead to a point where we've used uh, goofy techniques to get uh, the... Uh, Marcus. I want to keep on to forget his name. To get Marcus up to level 99. God amongst men, Marcus. Catch you next time.